What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Friday video. Today we are diving into the US Paludarium tank. It's time to take a look at the good, the bad, the ugly, and the changes coming up. So this is my US native paludarium, which uh, is my brainchild uh, from COVID quarantine back in 2020 and finally came to fruition in November of 2020. Uh, it's been up for a little over a year at this point and there's stuff I like about it. There's stuff I'm not too happy with uh, and I've decided to go ahead and upgrade this to another tank. This was a nice little project tank. I did actually construct the aquarium uh, from an old 20 long that I disassembled, uh, cut up, and put back together and constructed this tank from that uh, along with a few extra scrap pieces of glass to make the different uh, filter sections. I'll link up a video to that build up at the top right corner if anyone wants to go check that out. Uh, but so let's talk about the good in this tank. The plants, as you can tell, have been thriving. There's nothing but dwarf sag, uh, regular baby tears, and a Ludwigia species in the aquatic section. Uh, the Ludwigias actually started to uh, grow immersed in some parts, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen to give this tank pretty much a natural feel For the fish in this tank. I went with a group of heterandria formosa a couple of swamp darters and I've also recently added a couple of dwarf blue crayfish uh, I see the heterandria formosa probably the most the darters come out during feeding time and the crayfish are in the tank that that's all i can say there i see them every now and then uh, but they are very well it's they do very well at staying hidden um, when i do redo this tank i will uh, get a good head count on all my numbers and see if maybe i need to separate out some heterandria formosa to breed out some more but like I said earlier, there are some things that are going bad with this tank. And for that, we'll have to move over to the land section. So for a while now, water has been making its way into the land portion of the tank. I'm not completely sure whether the spray foam is wicking water or if there's a leak in the silicone. At first, I was able to just siphon out the water periodically and that was working fine now though the water builds up within a day and uh, it's pretty much become a chore to remove it uh, the water level being sucked into there means that the water in the tank has been getting a little bit lower and the soil for the plants has been pretty much saturated and and muddy uh, that in turn caused some of the plants to thrive, uh, but others pretty much just died out. This issue was one of the main driving factors behind my upcoming rebuild. But now looking at the plants that are doing well in this uh, pretty well flooded out land section, uh, I do have some pond type plants, uh, so the dwarf cattail and a a reed species of stargrass, um, which have done well both in the planted in the water section and above ground. And I have uh, three different species of ferns which have uh, done well up top, mostly because they are attached to wood and not so much planted into the soil, which is pretty saturated at this point. And then uh, these temporary terrarium grasses, which take about a week to grow from seeds and then uh, periodically just uh, die off 
and that actually feeds the uh, isopods that I have in the land section of the tank and then there is some some rickia and some mosses throughout there as well which um, has done okay in the moist environment so future plans for this tank i uh, managed to find locally a 29 gallon aquarium and stand uh, that i will be working on in the next coming uh, weeks to a month time uh, to become the next iteration of my U.S. native fish paludarium. Uh, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I've got some good ideas, I think, brewing uh, that will resolve the uh, water issue, of course, and will also give a little bit more space for the plants and the fish to thrive underwater. Uh, but I'm really excited to uh, see how that goes. I'm just finishing off uh, collecting some of the uh, materials I'll need for that project uh, but in the meantime I'll have some ideas brewing and uh, see what else I can come up with uh, before I officially get started with that with that being said if you do want to see that build and you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that button now and of course drop a like if you are enjoying what I'm doing I'll see you in the next Friday video